Hey everyone, Mo here, and before the video begins, I just want to let you guys know that my schedule has opened up for me to do coaching again. So if you're interested in private one-on-one -on -one coaching for me to help you, whether you're a newer player and you want to excel at the game very quickly and learn the fundamentals without developing any bad habits early, or if you're an experienced player who's already maybe platinum or diamond in your top 1%, but you need some help filling in the gap to get you to that 0.01% to make you just some of the best of the best, then hit me up on Discord and I can get you in some private one-on-one -on -one coaching lessons to help you polish up any skills you want to refine and help you learn all of the secrets to becoming a top player. That's it. I hope you enjoy the video. Hey everybody, Mo here. And in this video is going to be the first episode of a new series I'm bringing you where I try and hit rank one in every region shard in Legends of Runeterra. So I've already hit rank one in NA and that's not enough. So I decided that I want to go ahead and try and do that in every region. So I'm going to go for, you know, rank one EU, rank one SEA, and rank one whatever the other region is called. So we're going to go for that. This is episode one of EU. If you want to catch some of this live, you watch all it, the episodes of me, you know, going through every single region and watch every video in case maybe your heart's stuck in a region. You just want to see how I end up getting through it and some tips for your region. Go and go over to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash emotional link will be in the description below. And that's all for the intro. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one. They're just called channel points. Oh, wait, I thought she already named them something. Yeah, I'll name them emotions. Hey, up, Swain. Yeah. I don't know. I'll change it later. <laughs> There's so many things I'm gonna do later. Trust me, chat, I'll do them. Oh, great. Let's see if I can get something better. Okay, those are cards. Vision would be a pretty good draw. Our hand's actually looking really, really bad. Also, this matchup is already like pretty bad. Um, we get it for four damage, I guess. Problem here is if we get him for four damage, he immediately just plays like it depends on how good this guy is. He might have been sandbagging the barrel maker this whole time. Okay, no. I don't know whether to know if these guys are good or not. Cause I have a hard time believing that anyone is actually like bronze or you know. That's fine by me. Drawing both experimenters in your same hand feels bad, man. I'm gonna open like this. I'm gonna make it rain me. If he make it rains me, he can't do um. What's it called? TF this turn. Gonna death's hand that. I also might switch over to Pirate Aggro because Pirate Aggro is also brain dead and a little bit more consistent. And just this deck has a way bigger high roll. But you probably don't need that when you're playing against, like, not the best players. Hey, how you doing? Doing alright, man. How are you doing? That's Brayfin. Okay. Alright, I guess we can open up with uh, this. That was a really good draw. This is a really good draw because it allows us to get rid of my stuff burst speed pretty easily. Also, we get to draw cards. Alright. So I'm expecting like a Swain here, right? But then we just pull Swain and we're big chilling. 
Vision, vision, vision. Aww. F me, go fund yourself, new news. Uh, rest in peace, my jinx. Rest in peace, my jinx. This guy is too good for me. Doing well in a really good mood today. That's good, man. Glad to hear that. Fortune Croker. Sure. I swing, my friend. Okay. I swing, my friend. And so I hit him with one of these. What's up, Sepeshi? So yeah, second Swain. I think we really care about most of this. We do stuff like this. So yeah, second Swain in his hand. Sure. So just get a big swing. This swing just go ahead and pull this. Let's just block like a 3-1 here. Take like 7, 8, 9, he kills Draven. He goes to 5. have the sickest make it rain I've ever seen. No, it's just gonna be second swing into death's hand. Oh, it feels bad, man. Oh, we are almost lethaling him. You put him to one. Not that one matters I mean I think I should have discarded the biggest fan and then put two uh, like one ones in play yeah there's second swing that time sure so he has to deal damage to our face twice I don't want to play this yet because I don't want to draw a Draven I'd rather draw like a get excited or a jinx you literally cannot convince me I'm not the greatest player in the game. In every sense of the word. In every way possible. Treasures. Treasures everywhere. I like how I took out a Withering Whale just to immediately play against... Uh, these are the cards I put in, and I immediately don't want them in this matchup. That's kind of funny. Give me my whale back. Oh, wait. Get the ship recorder out of my hand. Go back to being a withering whale. <laughs> What's up, boosty pacow? Hey, are there any SEA players in my chat? Have any SEA gamers?
asking for a friend. Aren't there? There's two Asian regions, right? There's SEA and then there's a different one. What are all the regions right now? North America? So there's like an Americas region, an EU region, an SEA region. I thought there was one more. That's not very nice. Gamer, we're, we're gamers here, chat. We're gamers too. Hmm. That's a pretty good draw. I'm glad that I still have Grass Mana here for whenever he goes to like Nox and Fervor, this 3 2 onto my Maokai. I guess we don't need... This feels pretty greedy. I'm gonna go for it. I think if he had Nocturne Forever, he would have used Nocturne Forever right there. Ooh, that's a draw. Pass, and we have all of the tools to our advantage here. That's not very nice. Well then. Well then. Ooh, that's a card. Okay. Gotcha. Damn mine. We can just do this. Right? We can just do this, actually. Worst case is he has a... Uh... I never remember the name of the Nightfall Drain. But I feel like it's really easy to remember. And we'll go and use this too here. And then the game should be over. We are laid deep. Deep is so good. Look, and we're gonna win because we have the shipwreck order in our in our hand. How do we ever lose? What's he gonna do? Play a Darius on us? Are we gonna play a little six four Darius? Six five Darius? Woo. Are we actually afraid of harrowing, chat? I don't think so. I'm not harrowing, ruination. We're not afraid of ruination. Okay. Show me how you don't die here. Okay. I guess you go to one. I respect it. Oh! Talkers! He's alive! Alright, 
Play Darius. Wait, this guy is so good. I didn't play around in the Raza. Wait. Now I'm just playing really overpriced shitty units. I'm just playing overpriced shit units. How did that happen? How did that happen? We want to do it in this order, where we can shipwreck quarter and plus direct dredgers. Also, if he doesn't play a unit to block, we can attack and then just atrocity, and we're feeling pretty good. That's a unit. Alright, so we're gonna drag dredgers here, and we'll have enough mana to play the treasure. Sick. We're chilling. Okay. Okay. I don't think that we've done that. We can make a unit a different unit. Wait, we can make a 10-10 unit. We can turn our 1-1 one -one into a 10-8. A Wait, we're so good. A 10-8 unit, chat. Oh, I'm sorry. You think you're gonna live? Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> Yo, this text crazy. We have two 10 8s. How do we lose? How? I don't know pizza rolls because I realize I've been drinking for like five hours straight and I haven't eaten a single thing. Miss Mulligan? I'm gonna miss my mulligan. Wait, so you rank one NA peak and climb on EU at the moment? Yes, sir. Yeah, I hit rank 1 NA a couple times this season. I was the second person to hit Masters in NA this season. And NA's just boring, man. NA is just boring. Not attacking on 3, so that feels really bad. He's gonna swing at me with a Draven. Okay. All right, we're gonna play Draven and hope he doesn't have vision. If he had, if he's on the play and has Draven on three and has vision, then we just lose every time. So we have to at least try. We have to at least pray. Wow, he had vision. Yeah, we just never win this matchup either way. That was bad. Maybe we can get lucky. Maybe we can get lucky and draw like a second vision here or something. Jinx? Doesn't really help us. Maybe we can go under and with these elusive units.
Oh, we have to hope for no crowd favorite. Okay. So we're hoping for no crowd favorite. We need our own get excited or something here. Okay. Uh, we're probably playing Jinx here, and then we're going to rummage to level up Jinx. I have to hope for no second get excited, or second Draven. Second get excited, second Draven, we're just super sad. Because he pulls in Jinx here to guarantee I block with it, and that sets him up for the whirling death. You can also have second vision here, and he just discards this, to, discards vision to that. Okay. I got this. I think we just kill everything here. Sure. Okay. So, if he doesn't have a Jinx, we have a chance. It's all just going to come down to if he draws Jinx or not. Winnable? Maybe. It depends on if he has Jinx or not. If he has Jinx, not winnable. If no Jinx, winnable-ish. That was a draw. So we can't level or, G or we can't get a rocket unless we experiment her, but then we don't even get to play the rocket. So I think we're a house spider crowd favorite. Damn. Okay. So game is no longer winnable. We can swing out. The swing out is fine. Not even. He has rummage as the last card in hand. Or it's second Jinx and he has get excited. So basically we want to be able to kill this with Experimenter. I'm trying to just make sure we don't die on the backswing, but I think we're just desperate here and hope we have to hope he messes up. Uh, we're gonna have to experiment with this Jinx down. Maybe it blocks like a 1-1. We'll see. That works for me. Damn, if we could get a if we could have gotten a rocket this turn, we could have had potential lethal. So he can go like axe axe. Worst case here is second Draven. Yes, yeah, so there's the rummage. So maybe we can kill his jinx before he gets a jinx rocket. That'd be really nice. Put him to six. Okay. So Jinx blocking was like huge there. It's the only way we win. Or only a way we have a chance to win. If he opens attack here, we're very, very sad. Because we have to block with our Jinx. Not anymore. Ooh. That's so big. Okay. 247. Damn, we're one mana short again from being able to rock it. And uh, get excited. So we just have to kill Jinx this turn. 
and hope he doesn't either have second jinx or a way to get a rocket. Sure. Okay, so I just have to experiment right now. And hope we have it. Thanks for the follow, PK Raya. Okay, so that's okay. Even if he has second Jinx here, I think it'd be really hard for him to play second Jinx and get rid of his hand. It'd be really impressive, to say the least. There's Experimenter on my Draven. Sure, we'll let this go through. Can't really stop it. So you had to have drawn double Get Excited, which this was also regular Get Excited. So you literally would have had to draw all three Get Excited there. Oh, when? Okay. Game's been pretty tight. Okay, I don't think being at four puts us on a different clock because it's still just double get excited, which we actually don't have a way to win, so. We can't block with Jinx because then he can get excited our Jinx in response to Experimenter, so I'm pretty sure we just won the game. Unless this is get excited. Which we lose to the same stuff we lost to earlier. So if he shows either of these cards, we win. We're chilling. We're chilling. What a game. 